The idea of living on Mars has long captivated the imagination of scientists and dreamers alike, transforming the once abstract concept of space colonization into a tangible goal. As humanity stands on the brink of a new era of exploration, the question of whether we can establish a permanent presence on the Red Planet becomes increasingly relevant. With advancements in technology and our growing understanding of Mars, we must delve into the environmental challenges, potential resources, and the psychological implications of such a monumental endeavor. Mars is often described as a world of extremes, where temperatures can plummet to negative 195 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 125 degrees Celsius, at the poles during winter and soar to a balmy 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, in the equatorial regions during summer. This drastic variation presents significant challenges for human habitation. The planet's surface is covered with iron oxide, giving it a reddish appearance. But beneath that lies a landscape of intrigue. Giant volcanoes, like Olympus Mon, which towers over Mount Everest, and deep valleys, such as Valles Marineris, stretching over 2,500 miles, 4,000 kilometers. These features offer a tantalizing glimpse into Mars' geological history, suggesting it was once a more Earth-like world, potentially harboring life. But before we pack our bags, let's talk about the atmosphere. The Martian atmosphere is a mere 0.6% of Earth's, composed primarily of carbon dioxide with only trace amounts of oxygen. This inhospitable environment presents a formidable barrier to human survival. Without advanced life support systems, humans would be unable to breathe, and the thin atmosphere offers little protection from cosmic radiation and solar flares. Mars lacks a magnetic field, exposing its surface to higher radiation levels than Earth experiences. Prolonged exposure to this radiation increases the risk of cancer, making it essential for any human settlement to implement protective measures, such as constructing habitats below the surface or using local materials to create shielding. Water is a crucial component for any potential Martian colony. While Mars is often viewed as a barren desert, Recent discoveries have revealed that the planet does possess significant quantities of water ice, particularly at its polar ice caps and beneath its surface. In 2020, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter detected signs of briny liquid water seeping down Martian slopes during warmer months. These findings not only heighten the possibility of sustaining human life, but also open avenues for future exploration. ISRU, in situ resource utilization. Technologies aim to harness these local water sources, enabling the production of drinking water, oxygen for breathing, and even hydrogen fuel for return journeys to Earth. To thrive on Mars, we must develop advanced technologies capable of sustaining human life. Concepts like Martian greenhouses, which would utilize hydroponics or aeroponics to grow food in controlled environments, are already in the research phase. Scientists envision using LED lights mimicking sunlight to grow crops, such as potatoes and lettuce, in the harsh Martian soil. Moreover, creating closed-loop life support systems that recycle water and air will be essential to reducing reliance on resupply missions from Earth. One promising development is SpaceX's Starship, designed for crewed missions to Mars. Its reusable design and high payload capacity could revolutionize space travel, making it feasible to transport people and equipment to the Martian surface more efficiently. Other initiatives, like NASA's Artemis program, aim to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon, serving as a stepping stone for future Mars missions.
entails Living not only farm. physical, but also psychological challenges. The long duration missions necessary for colonization could lead to feelings of isolation, anxiety, and depression among crew members. Studies from previous space missions, including those on the International Space Station, ISS, highlight the importance of maintaining mental well-being in confined environments. Team dynamics, communication strategies, and recreational activities will be crucial in ensuring astronauts remain engaged and mentally fit during their time on Mars. Developing robust support systems and fostering strong interpersonal relationships will be paramount in overcoming the psychological hurdles of Martian living. The prospect of colonizing Mars also raises profound ethical questions. As we venture into this new frontier, we must consider our responsibilities toward any existing Martian life forms, however microscopic they may be. The potential contamination of the Martian environment with Earth-based microbes poses risks to both the search for extraterrestrial life and the integrity of Mars itself. Establishing strict protocols for planetary protection will be essential to ensure we explore responsibly and minimize our impact on the Martian ecosystem. Despite the myriad challenges, the drive to explore and colonize Mars is fueled by a powerful vision for the future. Establishing a human presence on another planet represents not just a scientific achievement, but a profound step toward securing humanity's long-term survival. As Earth faces pressing issues such as climate change, resource depletion, and overpopulation, Mars offers a potential backup plan, an opportunity to expand our horizons and ensure our species' continuity. The technological advancements developed through Mars, exploration could also benefit life on Earth, fostering innovations in fields like energy, agriculture, and environmental sustainability. Thanks for joining me on this journey to Mars. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more out-of-this-world content.